This is CNN. Luke, give in to the dark side. It's day 41 of Operation Bomb the Living Daylights out of Afghanistan. <laughs> Joining me to discuss the situation is our chief international correspondent, Christiane Amanpour in Jalalabad. Christiane, I know it's very early there. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. My pleasure. Christiane, given the deployment of ground troops in Afghanistan, in addition to the bombing missions and use of special forces, can we expect a swift fall of the Al-Qaeda network? Pardon? Christiane, given the deployment of ground troops in Afghanistan, in addition to the bombing missions and the use of special forces, can we expect a swift fall of the Al-Qaeda network? Could you repeat the question? Christiane, given the deployment of ground troops in Afghanistan, in addition to the bombing missions and use of special forces, can we expect a swift fall of the Al-Qaeda network? No. <laughs> How successful has the U.S. military been with its mission thus far? <laughs> what is the... The military... <laughs> the military has caused much destruction, devastation, despondency desolation, and I'm out of alliteration. <laughs> so I guess you could say it's bad in Jalalabad. <laughs> Excuse me. It's bad in Jalalabad. Get it? I don't get it. <laughs> Christian, would you say the political situation in Afghanistan is volatile? Aaron, the political situation in Afghanistan is volatile. <laughs> Christian, thanks for this report. You're welcome. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs>